It is for a drive. Starts on the button. Nice oil pressure, nice temperatures. Into D. And off we go. Accelerate really nice of these, like a big old sailing ship. No rattles, squeaks, crunches, groans, anything. Just a, a tidal wave of performance. Choking apart, they did perform very well. For a car that probably weighs about two and a half tonnes. Steering, very light, basically two fingers, but it's also fairly responsive. There's no dead patch really around the straight ahead. Sitting behind someone's respecting the speed limit. It's very uh, law abiding of them. Very good as well. All in all, just a very relaxing place to be. Uh, one of these large Mercedes S classes. And I've not driven one that um, drives as nicely as this for some little while. All the gauges work there. We've got fuel gauge, um, miles per gallon, meter, temperature gauge, oil pressure gauge, obviously speedometer in front of us, rev counter to the right, and in the far right hand corner we have a clock. And also in the center, the speedo we've got a trip meter, uh, odometer and also an outside temperature gauge that shows it's 15 degrees at the moment. Where did the summer go? Storm up the hill. foot down a bit you can uh, hopefully hear some sort of engine noise now. Begin to read on the horizon fairly quickly uh, when you get your foot down. A lot of fun, these uh, these big Mercedes, beautifully built. I think this one has got around about 50 miles plus. You've got a very slight shimmy through the steering wheel, uh, which you can just uh, very slightly feel. It's probably got um, um, front wheels in need of a little bit of balancing, but uh, no more than that. It's certainly not um, intrusive. You can just feel a very, very faint shimmy itself through it. Anyway, I think that's probably it.